like the inspired are there to help and it's nice stuff like we were saying in the debate it's nice to have other people around you and not just try and do it and feel like you're by yourself so having places like this it's good and i think um, keep trying yeah don't be scared to fail i was so scared to sit and say like you know you're like i don't want to put my hand because yeah. i've got to have the worst idea but just say it because they can say no or yes never it's know. not another idea it could be the best idea in the it's world. always a learning it, failing is a learning yeah it could be a yes no it could be let's tweak it yeah and then it, do you know what i mean it's just you just, you just gotta keep keep going because yeah. you never know you could have a really good idea yeah. and just because you're too worried to say anything about it, it could literally change your life. So yeah. just... Has it has everything always gone well for you guys or have you guys experienced failures? Yeah, definitely. In this industry that we work in, you're kind of always getting a knockback. You don't really realise because people are just on the receiving ends of it and just see us in places. But you do get a lot of knockbacks and also us growing up, I went to... Um, Harris, which is just a normal academic school for technology actually, and then because I wasn't very amazing at that side of learning things, I just always got knocked back and stuff, and I went from being like, I was a singer, so that's all I did, so in Harris I was like the only one that sang, and then I went to the Brit School, and I was one of a few thousand people that sang, so I don't know, your views on everything change, and the opportunities change, and yeah. You have, I have had a lot. And what would be your advice then to people who have failed like a lot and they don't have the motivation to carry on? And like, what would you say to them? I think you have to kind of, it's all in your mindset because you can have days where you're like, do you know what, I don't want to do anything, I can't do it, I feel really rubbish within yourself. But you have to think, you know what, if I want to succeed and I want to do something with myself, I'm going to get up and do it. Like, even what we do, it's hard work. Sometimes I'm at home, I'm like, oh, I have to get up. Like, it's six in the morning, I really don't want to do it. But then I think, when I'm on stage, I'm going to love performing. Yeah. So, them six hours travelling there, getting ready, yeah, it's going to take it out of you, but you're doing this because you're going to perform. Yeah. So, it's, you've got to have that kind of, not set yourself a bar too high, because... We don't really do that, yeah. but you just got to kind of push yourself. And find support from other people, like, uh, we couldn't do this all by ourselves, we have each other to like lean on. So lean on your friends, your mum, whoever you're closest to, just try and yeah. talk to them about how you feel and get going. You can get them to help you. There are people out there that are so happy to help each other, so just, yeah. Talk to other people. Being is like a whole organisation that links young people and opportunities, so obviously Being Inspired yeah. is one of them biggest ones in the UK as well. So. so did you guys have jobs before you were singers? Yeah. yeah of course. Like what? We was all retail birds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was m and Marks and Spencer's. I was next. I was House of Frasier, Cookie Marine. <laughs> yeah. Were you good at your jobs, would you say? I think I, I, was, think I was really good. good at my job. I got, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I used to take take time and effort to like, pack people's bags. Yeah. I took pride in my job at the next. Did anything get wrong? Yeah, they used to hate my hair. <laughs> and I used to have to cover up with head scars and stuff. Had a bad time sometimes, you know. Yeah. And <laughs> um, so really exciting guys. Um, 2013 on the Music Bride, you've just finished recording your album. Yes. yes. Yeah. And uh, when is that out again? And there's not a date, but it's around May. And summer plans, you guys know about the festivals and everything like that. Hopefully we are hopefully doing, doing the same one of festivals that we did last year and That's hopefully fun. even more. It was such a good summer, so I want that again. Summer's the best. It's like literally being on holiday. Yeah, yeah. You're not, you don't feel like you're working. You no. just feel like you're going yeah. to perform for like half an hour, an hour. And, and then, then have fun at the festival. Have fun, do what you want to do. <laughs> we try and hide to go yeah. off and do our thing. We just thing. go party in our And then yeah. we get a phone call, you can't be out. Oh, we're out. <laughs> Sorry, can't hear you. <laughs> and now can you please tell me about this very exciting one day trip to America. Oh, oh yay! <laughs> to Texas. 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 No, I don't know. I thought it was Texas. 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 Who are you loving in the States right now? Which musicians? Obviously, you've got your Rihanna, yeah. your Kanye, yeah. your Jay Z, Frank Ocean. Yeah. 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 If you could collaborate with one of them, who would it be? Uh, as a Jay Z, Kanye. Yeah. We just want to get in the studio with them, and that's it. And just give us a few yeah. days. Yeah. Just lock the door. Yeah. 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 And we'll make some magic.